Oh man. Hello YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. Okay. Hello everybody, it's me, Fred. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I always say anyway a lot and I can't help it. It helps to get my brain back together. Okay, so I got a couple purchases as well as a freebie I found. And, you know, this is obviously something I am going to be picking up with later anyway. I did not try the game, but I loved the Monster Hunter series for a while. So, I picked up this freebie at GameStop, which is sort of a hint today. And it was Monster Hunter 3. I like looking at the caver. It just looks so badass. And it comes with this little poster, which you fold out. And it's sort of like an instruction manual. But, it's just a really cool demonstration. Or really cool looking demonstration of the controls and this is basically a poster get this for free at the uh by the checkout um, um desk and you go over there and you can just grab one they just don't care just don't grab them all it'll be stingy yeah, a lot of other people enjoy the greatness but all right so it comes with a little poster it's kind of cool i kind of like how they have the design layout for the wiimote and all that but i'm going to be sticking to the classic controller if i buy the game and, again, it's pretty cool. I mean, I've been dying to play this, and I'm now I have this opportunity to. Um, speaking of games I've been wanting to really play, i going to grab this other one here. Last one in the bag, put that on the side. But, all right. Now, I'm going to show you this purchase I got here, and I paid only... See, this is the thing I hate, too. It's like, they have all this paper they waste. They're talking about companies going into shitter. It's like, well, if that's the case, at least they'll have plenty of toilet paper to, to, to occupy themselves. It's just like, they have all this paper explaining all these stupid little sales, these survey things. Like, people are actually going to give a shit and look at that. They throw these, most likely throw these receipts away, and they go, ah, shit, I threw my receipt away. I can't return this item. That's usually how it goes down anyway, but, you know, they have these... These receipts here, they're just so fucking long. It's just like, I don't want to... I don't care about these promotional things the clerk should be telling me about these things and you know it saves so much more fucking money if they made the receipts about this big you know that big that's all they need to use that's it they could put the, the promotional thing in the back i don't care about the policy crap return policy crap i don't care no one cares they try to return it anyway so why are you wasting my time and your money all right next thing here done ranting i picked up this game for 297 it's brand new in the shrink wrap still, obviously. But I picked this up because, you know, I always looked at this one at the game, the Nintendo Wii copy of this, and the, also the GameCube version. And it's actually kind of cool. It has an alternate cover on it and everything, but I picked up Pigman for $2.97, still sealed. I've, you know, I've seen it. A lot of controls, I'm sorry, not a lot of controls, um, a lot of gameplay for it. It actually looks kind of cool. It's like a little strategy action style kind of game. And for the price I paid for it, it's not bad at all. You know, it's pretty good. I'm definitely going to be playing this after. Okay. Next game I picked up is I paid for this. You know, it's sort of like the price you would typically pay for this if you were to buy it new in certain stores. Like, you know, chain stores. But I've been wanting to try this game for so freaking long and it's just like it goes up my ass. That I haven't been able to try it. And some people say, don't buy it, it's a trap, it's a trap. It's like, it's not, first off, it's not a lolly, so I'm, I think I'm safe. Second off, I've been looking, eye candying it for a while. So it's like, either way, if I want it, I'm going to grab it. You know, you don't pay my bills, I don't have any bills, but, you know, it's, it's sort of the thing, like, I want to freaking play it, I'm going to play it. So, alright, I picked this up for 20 bucks, Fallout 3. And, again... Some people say that the, as soon as you get out of the vault in the game, it gets boring. I, I don't, I doubt that. I'll, I'll be getting bored. But I got this for PS3 because, you know, I've been, wa I have only have like a small stack of games for the console. It's like three. Now I got four. So now I'll be able to play it and enjoy it. Um, the last game I picked up, which I pre-ordered this one by trading in like a chunk of games, is none other than, I don't know if I should show you guys. Yeah, I, I don't think I should show you. I don't, I don't think I should. No. 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 Final Fantasy 13 for the PS3. I picked this copy up due to the fact that I've been wanting to play it 
because you know there's a lot of been, a lot of people have been telling me there's a lot of cutscene issues or there's so many cutscenes that it gets boring you know there's no sit no towns no cities or anything like that it's like granted you know final fantasy 10 kind of didn't have cities you had this little sort of sandbox style free roam th style to it but you know who cares i mean it brings out more of the field more than it actually brings out the towns and, you know it gives you the exploration type of feel after you beat the you get to a certain point in the game i guess but all right someone asked me to open this up this isn't me just opening this up because you know boring open up normal editions is boring as hell Someone asked me because they wanted to see what the uh, the cut in box looked like. It's like it looks plain. It's white, and you know it's. But. What the fuck? You receive a special item. By registering your copy of Final Fantasy here. Okay. Uh, I'm sold. But. All right. So yeah, like I said again, it's same it's plain oh well, yeah there is i guess suppose there is that guy there in the box inside the box but that's about it i mean other than that it's just very plain looking i didn't even know that was going to come out that registration card and then it'd be in there but cool it's a single layer disc it's a sorry it's a multi-layer disc what am i saying it's a, it's a single disc practically and you know it's that's why i purchased it for the three the ps3 versus the 360 360 you have like four discs you have to pile through and it's just like nothing but cinematics i don't want to switch my freaking discs after every 15 uh, cinematics that just drive me up the wall but again i picked all these games up i didn't pay too much today i paid like 24 bucks at total and you're probably saying like how did you pick up 24 bucks if you bought final fantasy 13 that's like 60 bucks premium triple a title well not necessarily because i bought these two games today with that and uh fallout 3 so again i did not really pay too much at all today for shopping because i was i got some money from the rebate checks and all that stuff so i was just like all right you know just running, running out there and grab some games so again this is what i picked up so if you guys got any pickups today we should definitely post responses to each other so that way we can share our days with each other so other than that, I'm going to go punch in this code online, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Take care, everybody.